Well, we got everything looking pretty good. And the choir went on its first official tour and sang its very first traveling concert of that year in La Mesa, Texas at the First Baptist Church. We got out to La Mesa, and the choir came in that evening all spruced up in their tuxedos and formals. They'd taken the pulpit out, had put risers on the back of the platform, that's those steps with rubber treads on them so you can keep a good grip for the high notes. And uh, we all marched in and took our positions, and Shelby Collier came out and stood in front of us, ready to direct the choir. He looked like the Penguin in the old Batman funny books. <laughs> had on his little tuxedo, cut away with tails, white piquet vest, little bow tie, uh, needle nose, little horn rim glasses, a lot of Vaseline hair oil in his hair, and combed it straight back with the wide teeth on the left end of a light blue Rexall 29 cent comb. <laughs> Walked by and looked down on his head, he thought he'd be planting something in those little rows, you know, that was <laughs> like an agricultural hairdo, you know. <laughs> Shall be directed by what is known as the Westminster Choral System. That's when the director leaves his hands at his waist and directs you with his eyebrows and diaphragm. Uh, 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 kind of like that. <laughs> Only thing he moved was his face and his stomach. Uh, 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 kind of like that. And one night, Shelby got a fly on his nose. We did the Hallelujah Chorus three times. He's <laughs> terrible. Strange. Shelby announced the first number, which was aloud. Gloria, Hosanna, praise unto thee forevermore. Mostly big number. And the choir really took off. It was like the opening kickoff of the first game of the year in football. <sighs> People with noses flared, throats open, hearts pounding, sang gloriously. <laughs> Finish that number, <sighs> give us another one. <sighs> Man, we'll blow these windows out of the walls. <sighs> Let us go. Joe Abstin, organist, lost a tennis shoe on that first shot. He was doing so good. It was a great moment in music. Started the second number, another Gloria, Hosanna, everything moving quick and well, Gloria, 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 and it was just doing neat. <laughs> Halfway through that number, I developed what will probably be remembered in history as the all-time champion front of the right thigh itch. <laughs> now, Shelby wanted this choir to stay in position. You stood here for two hours like you'd been hit with hairspray. And I could lose my scholarship if I scratched my leg. And I'm right in front of him and he's staring right at me. Glory, glory, glory. The itch is two inches lower than I can reach without dropping my shoulder to get at it. Now I'll tell you one thing, you cannot sing Gloria with an itching thigh. You cannot put your heart in it. And here I was with this big itch. We estimated later it was about three and a half to four inches in diameter. And so deep that you could scratch it from the back of your leg. It was a terrible itch. I'm praying that my hip would unscrew and my leg would fall off. I hurt so bad. And everybody else is singing, Gloria, and I'm going, Gloria. I was dying. Just dying. Finished that number. It didn't have an amen on it. I was so grateful. Four more notes, I think I'd have fainted. it. Shelby looked around to introduce the next number to the audience, and as soon as he looked the other way, <laughs> I got on that itch. I was making 14 inch strokes, digging away. Discovered a couple serious problems. I was growing fast, was nervous. I bit my nails. You cannot handle a really big itch with no nails. You generate a lot of heat, but you don't get any comfort. My fingers were hot to the second knuckle and the itches down there going, let's have a little more of that, please. Oh, wonderful. You know. If I'd had a stick, I'd have beat on my own leg. I was hurting so bad. Second problem, I had this big long coat flap hanging down over my itch. Double flap. Couldn't get through that. Had a pocket full of keys, coins. Couldn't get through that. Had my shirt tail tucked in. Couldn't get through that. Wearing over-the-calf boxer shorts. They were executive length, you know, everything was executive length. Now, the reason I did that, my legs were so skinny, I couldn't hold my socks up unless I tucked something in them. <laughs> so. And if you learned to wad them just right, it looked like a pretty neat calf muscle, you know, you could kind of make them look sharp, don't you? <clears throat> 
Well, I just wasn't getting to my itch at all. And itch is down there going, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going, I'm going to bust you, itch, you know. Oh. Well, Shelby turned around. I straightened up just in time to save my scholarship. We sang another Gloria. Gloria! And I'm sitting here plotting my move. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Finished that number, and Shelby turned around. I was now ready to deal with my itch. It had met its match. First thing I did was raise my heel about four inches. That lets you get close to your itch. You want to be near your itch. <laughs> then I got on it with two hands like a rub board <laughs> and started clawing. And what I discovered was <laughs> these pants are 28 and a kneecap, right? And as I clawed, my pants leg came right on up over the itch. <laughs> Exposed the bare front of my right thigh, and there it was. <laughs> and I got it. <laughs> and the itch just died. Ah, you could hear it go. Oh, it felt so good. And I just, ah, I felt, oh, couldn't believe I got rid of it. Shelby looked around and I straightened up. This time we're singing a Largo number, heavy and dark. Largo. Largo. So everybody was singing. That sets them up for the offering. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so... We're singing Largo, and I'm so happy now. I'm going Largo, to do, to do, 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 oh, Largo. You know, it was really felt good up here. Shelby turned around to introduce the next number, and I glanced down to see how I was doing and got tickled <laughs> because this coattail is so long, my pants leg has totally disappeared up under it. <laughs> now, I was born a clown. I could not let a moment like that pass. So I hiked the other pants leg up. Ta -do, ta -do, ta -do. Got... <laughs> Got them both all the way up, smoothed my coattail out, and there I stood in my hot tux. <laughs> Bony old knees and skinny legs. There I stood. Now we're singing Largo, and I'm going, <laughs> Largo. <laughs> Largo. I was about to die having so much fun. Finish that number. Elmore Avery, my best friend from home, used to ride around in the car with his legs out. Sitting right here on my right. Red, wavy hair, kind of auburn colored, a lot of freckles, high cheekbones, sunken cheeks, six feet, a half inch tall, 132 pounds. Full scholarship. Serious about his music. You could not spook Avery. You catch him in a dark alley and sneak up behind him with cymbals out of the high school band and go kapow right in his ear and he'd go cymbals you know you <laughs> couldn't spook Avery right but here he is standing beside Ray Looper and the two of them are right here on this deal so I lean over to Avery you, you want to share this <laughs> Shelby wouldn't let you twitch your nose clear your throat <clears> or <throat> sniff or anything you just had to stand here and sing but I got to share this so I leaned over and I said Elmore. Elmore. <laughs> Man, his eyes bugged out and he nearly died. <laughs> Scared him to death. And he threw it back over his shoulder and said, what? <laughs> and I leaned in and said, I lost my pants. <laughs> and he looks down and goes, ah! Just lost him. And Looper looked down, ah! Now, everybody around us was leaning and looking. Ah! I'm the only one not laughing, so you know who did it. <laughs> About that time, Shelby said, Now I give you one of our quartets in the choir, the Troubadours. Well, I was in it, and they opened up to let me out, and there I stood. <laughs> I couldn't get them down. It was terrible. <laughs> 